Tuesday night. Uh, let's get right into it with Ann Coulter. Of course, she's a syndicated columnist and best-selling author. Her latest book, Adios America, uh, which we are going to get into in just one minute. But uh, first, we're going to talk about the Confederate flag and whether or not it is a symbol of hate. And welcome. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. Your, uh, your maiden voyage. I'm you could make it. And before we dive into uh, the delicious and inviting pool that is you, uh, <laughs> what do you think of the Confederate flag? I mean, obviously, it has gone through many political evolutions since you first started talking about it, I'm guessing in the early aughts. But where do you stand now? Um, well, I'm glad the Democrats have come out four square against slavery. It's, it's <laughs> taken a while here. Um, <laughs> but if we're going to remedy the the... The, the sadness of the Confederate side in the Civil War. I think we need to abolish the Democratic Party. Yeah, well, a lot That's of people... That's a much more hateful symbol. They were the ones who stood for it, and even after the North, i.e. the Republicans, yeah. won that war and finally got Democrats to give up slavery, Democrats continued to discriminate against black people for another Until hundred years. What, was it the, the 20s or 30s when African Americans finally uh, went over to Thanks the to Democratic Republicans. side? And we were a little bit, we were, uh, stopped discriminating a hundred years later. It, yeah. No, it wasn't until about a hundred years later. I mean, Nixon was still getting a good portion of the, Demo or, um, of the black vote. Yeah, it's because of the Clean Air Act. Yeah. So I, I think that's well, I was thinking about. in reaction to this this sick, horrible, evil act. Yeah. I mean, wh why not? Why not? Why don't we have to pass a global warming bill? Come on, it had nothing to do with the Confederate flag. He was also wearing a gold gym T-shirt, mm, um, and of course, it was a a a, a Democrat who was not a slaveholder or a segregationist, it was 100 years later, who, who wanted the flag to go up um, on the S South Carolina legislature on the 100th anniversary of the Civil War, um, beginning of the Se Civil War. Yeah. Contrary to every single show on MSNBC last night, which announced that they put up the Confederate flag because they're op of their opposition to civil rights. And I, I mean, it happened at the same time. They did they put really it up over didn't. the state house in 1962. And certainly that was a that year was... after that first Fritz Hollings put it up because I was wondering what, what happened in the war started in 61. That's, that was well, when they, they made started a it in great 61. Cadillac. Okay, now I want to move on a little bit. I don't want to spend too long on this because I want to talk about your book, but first I want to talk about you. Where are you from? Do you have... Connecticut. Okay, do you have a, a geographic, um, <laughs> I, I guess, do you have a, a horse in this race either way? Like, are you, do you consider yourself a northerner? Oh, you mean the southern yeah. thing? Um, well, I'm a student of American history. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm appalled by, um, though I'd really like to like Nikki Haley, um, since she is a Republican. On the other hand, she is an immigrant yeah. and does not understand America's history. The, the, the flag we're you talking about. You think immigrants can't understand the history? Well, she doesn't. Um, the Confederate flag we're talking about never flew over an official Confederate building. It, yeah. it was a battle flag. It is to honor Robert E. Lee. And anyone who Fought, knows the first thing about military history yeah. knows that there is no greatest army, greater army that ever took the field than the Confederate Army. Both blacks okay, no, and I, whites I, I from the okay, South. I understand that. And in Mississippi, when it came up for a vote, 30 percent of blacks. This was within 10 years. 30 percent of blacks voted. I, to under, keep I understand the Confederate that, and, and those are uh, those are historical facts. Those those uh, that is a rational argument applied to an emotional debate. And I, it's never going to take hold. But what I want to talk about in Anne's new book, Adios America, see, look, woo! Uh, she takes on the country's broken immigration system, and she says the only way to begin to address the problems requires us to start with a 10-year moratorium on all immigration. So if you have a 10-year moratorium on legal immigration, what does that do about what you claim to be the problem of illegal immigration? How is no. that going to stop illegal oh, no, immigration? No, 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 no. My complaint is not with illegal immigration. Republicans have a silicone chip in their brain that yeah. means Democrats say diversity is strength. Republicans say we love legal immigration. It's yeah. just, no, no, no. This is a book about immigration. Just immigration in not general. Not legal immigration. Um, I mean, I start with amnesty because that'll finish the country in, in five years as opposed to the plan we're on now with legal immigration. Um, but the po I mean, what, you, what I would like to do, um, and this is what I began thinking I do, is we just fix the rules so yeah. we do it the way we did it pre-1970, bring in immigrants who are better than us and make the country what better than we are. What about in the early 20th century? I mean, that's what Milton Friedman favors. Milton Friedman favored a time of illegal immigration because when you started these social programs and people came over for very different reasons yes. than they did yes. at the turn of the century. Well, but it's more than them just coming. Our rules are set up to make it virtually impossible for people to 
come in and compete, for example, with Mark Zuckerberg for his job. They yeah. will be competing for Mark Zuckerberg's landscaper's job. Um, we're not getting. But there are people who say that's not the worst thing because if you've got a landscaper, well, the landscapers who works, think so. Well, not necessarily <laughs> because if you're working in a low-wage, low-skilled job for a short amount of time, creating capital, you know, you are a adding to the economy and b bettering your life so you can go on to do. No, you're not other adding things. to the economy. You are yes, adding you are. To the income. Immigrants are the grease of the wheel in the economy. Well, that's just a cliche, but um, it's it's not. It, it 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 doesn't mean anything. Study I'm after going to study. Give you, okay, we'll shows discuss how this works. If if you have low wage immigrants coming <clears throat> in, taking more from the government than they're paying in, yeah. that isn't helping the economy. What it's helping is the employer. It may help the low wage immigrant. It's definitely hurting the people who would be competing for that job, including recent immigrants. Okay, so if you say and that it's immigrants it's definitely hurting who <clears throat> pay me. taxes, which unfortunately is only half the country. Now, the but with you verify, even will, if they have false social security numbers, you still have a lot of immigrants who come into this country, work really hard, and pay taxes. Therefore, they're adding to the system. But also, well, they're not if you taxes. have, yes, they are. If you have a landscaper, no, they are not. That is not yes, true. they are. That Someone who uses true. a social security number to get a job and an employer who uses E-Verify, they are certainly paying taxes. No, they are not paying taxes. <clears throat> um, they are accepting more back in not only okay, education, now when you, okay, which is now, vastly expensive. If, when you say accepting more back, this is a, a point where we agree. And I'm wondering if your view would change if you ended the entitlement state. So if, if people yeah, were that's not... that's not going to happen. End the law of gravity. Well, I mean, it's also okay, not going to happen then, that the people are going to stop coming here. I mean, these are both theoretical propositions. Well, sure. They stopped coming to Israel. Israel put a fence up and defended its country. Shabbat Shalom. And so, However, does, and so does Switzerland. In fact, so But in California, countries. if you had people who could not, as you say, take more from the government, which is a debatable claim, that's would you therefore debatable. be uh, more Wait, in favor Kennedy, of... Know that orders. half of Americans don't pay taxes, but you're saying that these minimum wage workers are paying taxes. A lot of them are, yeah. I mean, no, there are no, a lot no, of no. jobs that are that, are that you pay if in only cash. We were getting the wealthy immigrants who are contributing so much and paying taxes. Those even non-wealthy immigrants in. come here and they work their ass off. Okay, here's what you need. Honestly, but yeah, they can work hard, but you, that isn't the point. Honestly, do you have They're Mexican also, friends? Do you have like real yeah, Mexican friends? This isn't friends. about having friends. I have friends who are. It doesn't matter who my friends are. I, I care I think about my fellow Americans. I care about the middle class. I care about the working class. I care about Americans losing their jobs yeah. and immigrants losing their jobs. And all and they are the ones, the middle class subsidizing the riches, yeah. cheap labor, so they can underpay the maid because they may work hard, but oh boy, yeah, but if, if you are paying services. a maid and you are paying a landscaper and you are paying a nanny, those are three jobs you are not doing. You are able to go out there and earn more money and therefore uh, may not improve be worth the economy. It's apparently that every time you know they have to actually pay taxes on these maids, the rich they own. Never mind. When they have to pay for a legal maid, as the New York Times has reported, oh no, that's too much. They want the middle class. So we to should have all union maids. We should have we should have a maid union, and we should have people making no, a minimum a of fifty dollars an hour. To do with it. I mean, but that's uh, that's where we're going, unfortunately. Okay. A union has nothing to do with it. Of course, it's not unionized. It's an individual employee coming to your house, and you can get legal maids. I have one last but question don't because we're running out of time. It. Are you fun? Um, that's a silly question. Yes, it I is. I don't answer silly questions. Oh, I've Anne, come on. I'll tell you something about me. No silly question. Well, answer. then I, I think the question <laughs> answers itself. No, because I've heard from mutual friends that you are a very fun person. All right. Very good. Thank you, Anne. Adios, America. That's it. Bueno. Coming up.